Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Right, today we're heading to Burning Sky and this is their Mr. Suit, a fruited sour. As you can see, it's a collaboration with Yeasty Boys. And it's coming in at 5% ABV, 330ml bottle. Really kind of heavy bottles, these uh, these uh, Burning Sky beers, and yeah. This is the third and final beer of our Good Beer Live that we just recorded or well, just was live with and yeah sour beers the third and final one so yeah it's quite an interesting one we'll get into the commercial description in a minute because i want to explain that before i try the beer on camera my shout out our good friends at honest brew for the beer um which this one is still available when i'm currently recording this on the 30th of november of 2018 so yeah if you're new to Honest Brew, go check them out. Links down below, and put in the code Good Beer Live, all in one word, and that will enable you to ten pounds off your first order and free shipping on orders thirty-five pound and above. Can't can't beat it. So go on there. It changes two or three times a week. They're adding new stuff all the time. So yeah, whenever you're viewing this, it could be six months down the line, which obviously then this won't be around. Um, but yeah, they've got plenty of other stuff to, to choose from, so uh, yeah, go and check them out. Right, so we'll go into the commercial description because it's kind of like a little bit... Obviously I've tried this beer, but I want to I get this out there first before I go into the tasting notes. So this is a mixed culture of red currant, red currant beer for anyone tired of being told what to do. All of us, I guess. Um, using our head brewer, JK's special Brett stroke lacto blend from his Chester f f fermentorium, but maybe but not butchering that up, uh, with lashings of red currant puree. The resulting beer is a dry and delicate with a complexity that grows by the day. So, 5%. So, here's the beer that I've got left. I've still got a bit left in the bottle. So, it's been open probably about an hour, so the carbonation's just died off a little bit, just so you know. Okay, it's got it's got a little bit of sediment in there, so I'm gonna actually pour it all in. As you can see, it's it's kind of it's hazed up a little bit more, but not not too much. I mean, it looks kind of a, a like a real light, um, not bloody merry, but you know what I mean. It's got that kind of thing about it. Let's give it a swirl. I'll be interested to see if it's actually tasting different with the, with the sediment now in, in, in the bottom of the bottle or in the glass even, handy. It's just, just an off-white, slightly tinged kind of pink head when I swirl it around. It's getting an aroma there. See on the aroma I was getting more kind of a rhubarb. There's a slight kind of pastry note. There's a slight kind of medical note, like a very, very, you know, subtle hint of, it sounds horrible, but it, it smells really nice. TCP. There's hints of, like, watermelon. But then you're getting that funkiness from the bread. It really does, it, the funkiness really is prevalent in this one. The more I'm getting on the aroma. It's a complex beer, it's a very unique beer on the aroma. Let's give it a try and then see what we get again. Cheers. Yeah, it's just, this is so out of the box. It's like nothing I've ever had before. And when we was reviewing this together on Good Beer Live, it was it's very difficult to put it into words what you're actually tasting because it's changing all the time, almost with every sip. Like currently now, I'm getting yeah that watermelon note. A little bit of rhubarb, but it's more of that kind of pastriness on the aroma than actually on the taste. That bit hasn't actually followed through, but but predominantly the the yeah the watermelon 
rhubarb is there. There is a little bit of a yeah that funkiness from from the bread and the, yeah the lacto is it lactobacillus. Um, Probably is lactobacillus, but but yeah. So a blended beer. It's a style of beer that I don't kind of. I mean, say it's a fruited sour, but it's, it's there's elements of of this brewery. Um, I've had a few beers from the brewery, and yeah, that they're really into their culture, cultural, um, the Brett cultures and all that sort of thing. A bit, you know, similar to um, Wild Beer Coast, that kind of thing. But these guys really do know their eggs when it comes to you know styles like this and their saisons and stuff like that. They're, they are fantastic for a, for a British brewery. Like wow, this is a so such a complex beer. It's one of them beers that I think you, you just got to go out and get. So if you're watching this, shop around and try and try and get hold of it. It's very difficult for me to actually put it into words what I'm actually getting because it's changing all the time there is that kind of like red currant puree pulp it's not too it's really funky really really funky from as I've already said about three times but it's, it's not too puckering at all it's very approachable there is there is a kind of slight medical note, and I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's not off-putting. It kind of adds to the whole experience, you know, the whole thing. And yeah, it, it is a really unusual, unique drinking experience. Is probably the only way I could describe it. Um, anyway, enough waffle. One more taste, and I'll give it a rating. Yeah, it's just it's just one of them beers that just gets you. It's probably subjective, this one. A lot of people might like it. A lot of people will probably hate it. Um, I said during the show that my f favourite beer of the three was the first one. I'm actually going to change my mind. Now this is room temperature. Yeah, this, this beer is, is really, really good. And I'm going to give this beer a 9 out of 10. It's really grown on me the, over the last sort of hour or so. So yeah, 9 out of 10, 4.5 out of 5 for the untapped, style, uh, untapped scale for Mr. Suit from Burning Sky. A quick check for the scores then, not that many check-ins, 357 uh, actual check-ins, 43 in the last 30 days, 305 ratings, it's coming in at quite a low 3.56, which is probably due to, it's just so different, it's, you know... Um, but I, I like the unusual in beer, especially kind of styles that I'm not kind of used to. And this is one of them beers that, yeah, it's just out of the box and it works for me eventually. Um, it's taken me an hour or so to get there, but yeah, 4.5, 9 out of 10. Check out Burning Sky, check out Yeasty Boys and let me know if you've had this one. Thanks for watching then and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.